testifico que no existe Dios sino Alá y que Muhammad es su enviado. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Uh, what is your name? Uh, Raul. That's my actual name. Masculine is Abdullah. Uh, where are you coming from? Spain. Uh, how long have you been Muslim? So actually, uh, four months. But four? you know, uh, my first idea about becoming Muslim was uh, one year ago. You know, one year. This was, uh, this was I had the first uh, impression good about the Islam. And was, uh, uh, was then I tried to uh, I start to think about uh, becoming Muslim. Uh -huh. And uh, you were before a Christian, you told me, yeah? Yes. Catholic. A, in fact, I was born in a Christian country. I received a Catholic education and uh, I was uh, practicing the Christianity until 2006. After I stopped believing in the Christianity, and definitively I, I stopped believing in, in God uh, for a couple of years. But after, uh, from, this, from the last year, I started to, to believe again, and then I took the decision on becoming Muslim. Uh -huh. And how was your feeling when you didn't believe in God in this period? So, um, I would like to transmit a message for all the people that, uh, uh, that don't believe in God or will, ha or will have stopped believing in God. It's a terrible impression. Because uh, you think that uh, in, in, in the life uh, uh, you are always thinking about the material thing. You are always loving the money. You are always uh, having worry because of a stupid thing, you know. Well, brother Abdullah, uh, now why you choose Islam and you left Christianity? There is a couple of differences very important between the Christianity and the, and the Islam. The first point is that the inside the Muslim, the relation uh, between the man and God is direct. It say there is no any intermediates. If we compare the Christianity, there is, there is too much intermediate between the man and, the, and God. Uh, after the man, there is the... Um, the the, the authority of the church, after the church, the papa, after the papa. So, if there is too much intermediate, it's not a direct relation. Any other point, inside the Islam, all the praying, all the worship is just for Allah. Inside the Christianity, there is a praying to two persons, even to human beings that have been dead and are considered a very excellent person. Uh -huh. It's very common inside the Christianity to pray to the, the holy person, or to pray to the, the image, or to pray to... You know, this is a very anthropocentristic uh, faith. You know, it's also very materialist faith because uh, the, Christ, the Christian needs to use uh, pictures, needs to use um, image in order to pray. You see, there is no spirituality, there, there is no connection with God. Yes, there is connection with the imagination, that is all. And this is something false. Because if you really you need something material in order to pray, you are not understanding the meaning of the pride. Because God, it say Allah is not present in any material thing. You cannot associate to Allah to any material thing. By the way, the Allah, it's just a name, it's a name of Allah in Arabic. So it's a, the Jewish Arabs and the Christian Arabs in the Bible also is written Allah in, uh, for the Christian Arabs and the Jewish Arabs. So Allah is not you, Allah is just the name of God. That's all. Uh, brother, uh, now we maybe can say the Shahada. Uh, Ashhadu. Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah. Means I bear witness that there is no God, no who God, but God, but Allah, and all the the praying, all the the divinity is for Allah and Muhammad, the peace and is the, the the messenger of Allah. Yes, yeah, so that I bear witness that there is no God who deserves to be worshipped exactly. except Allah, and that Muhammad is his messenger of Allah.